Hey everyone, welcome back to Pop Culturally Challenged. My name is David. This is my beautiful wife, Tony. Hello. Tonight we're going to be watching the second episode of Chernobyl. What did you think of the first one? It was intense. Um, the comments, some of the comments said it was 99% true of mm -hmm. the situation. So I'm, I'm intrigued. Yeah, that makes it a little more worrisome <laughs> than mm -hmm. what we're seeing is... is is not made up. Um, I think this one is called Please Remain Calm. So well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Yeah, I, I don't think so. But we're ready. We'll give it a try. You got the tissues ready just in case? Yes. Okay. I might scream and yell, though. I don't know. I don't stay calm very well. Okay. I'm just saying. We'll see what happens. Forewarn. <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right. Well, if you enjoy this content, please give us a thumbs up, uh, comment down below, let us know what you think about the uh, series. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And on that note, on with the show. It sounds like a Geiger counter. One of those things, you know, that they test radiation with, doesn't it? Oh, I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen one of those. No? Huh. I've been in a lot of movies. I've never seen one in real life, but... I've seen them where they test. What are they saying? I don't know. Or nuclear energy and... Seven hours later, okay. That looks like such an old uh, thermos, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> something my grandfather would have had. Going fishing or something. Why did you come in? Oh, it's too hot. I hit another wrong thing. A leak? No. It would have gone off before. It's coming from outside. I wonder how far away this is. It's not military. It's uranium decay. Ignalina, maybe uh, 240 kilometers away. Yes, this is Ulana Homyuk with the Institute of Nuclear and... All right, stay calm. No, it's four. It's not them. Who's the next closest? Chernobyl, but that's not possible. They're 400 kilometers away. Well, that's too far for eight millironcan. They'd have to be split open. Maybe they know something. Eight millironcan? I don't know. Above my pay grade. Yeah. Nuclear test? Some kind of bomb? We'd have heard that's what half our people work on here. Something with a space program, like a satellite or... No one's answering the phone. See why I panic when somebody doesn't answer the phone? Mm-hmm. It was, it was the two guys that were downstairs. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? What is that? Milk. It's milk. Much yeah. better than water. No, 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 stop, stop! These are radiation burns. The clothes are contaminated. Get it all off. Why aren't they wearing gloves to take off their clothes? He was a firefighter. Can you stop pushing, please? Luckily, she fell. Yeah. I still don't understand why they're not wearing gloves. Yeah, I would have gloves on. This girl knows what it is. See? Oh shit, See? yeah. What's wrong with people? You care to read Deputy Chairman Sabina's report while you wait? Oh, certainly, thank you. Still so weird to see smoking indoors. Yeah. All right, Professor, they're ready. Those chandeliers are amazing. Yeah. I'm pleased to report that the situation in Chernobyl is stable. In terms of radiation, plant director Brichano reports no more than 3.6 thronken. I'm told it's the equivalent of a chest x-ray. A foreign press? Totally unaware. Very good. Well, it seems like it's well in hand. So if there is nothing else, meeting adjourned. No. Pardon me? Uh, we can't adjourn. Page three, the section on casualties. 
A fireman was severely burned on his hand by a chunk of smooth black mineral. There's graphite on the ground. There's graphite on the ground outside. It means it wasn't a control system tank that exploded. It was the reactor core. It's open. And as for the radiation... Yes, 3.6 Rontgen, which, by the way, is not the equivalent of one chest X-ray, but rather 400. It's also the maximum reading on low-limit decimeters. They gave us the number they had. I think the true number is much, much higher. Finally, someone with the brain. All I hear is a man I don't know engaging in conjecture. Please may I express my concern as, as calmly and as respectfully as... Professor Legato. Of course. I will allow it. Thank goodness. Yeah. Every atom of U-235 is like a bullet, penetrating everything in its path. Wood, metal, concrete, flesh. Every gram of U-235 holds over a billion trillion of these bullets. Chernobyl holds over three million grams, and right now it is on fire. Whoa. Three million billion trillion bullets in the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat. Most of these bullets will not stop firing for 100 years. Whoa. And uh, this concern stems entirely from the description of a rock. Yes. I want you to go to Chernobyl. You take a look at the reactor, you personally, and you report directly back to me. Wise decision, Comrade General Secretary. And take Professor Legato with you. No, I don't want to go there. <laughs> Forgive me, Comrade General Secretary, but I don't... Do you know how a nuclear reactor works? Ooh. No. No. Well, then how will you know what you're looking at? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's like slap them <laughs> shut up son <laughs> do what you're told great now I gotta spend my weekend in Chernobyl <laughs> with you yeah I gotta get on this old ass looking helicopter with you <laughs> I know you're trying to make me feel better but it's not quite working quite yet <laughs> Trying, babe. But at least someone had sense. Yeah, Gorbachev at least said, no, send somebody. How does the nuclear reactor work? What? It's a simple question. No, <laughs> that's a simple question. Tell me how a nuclear reactor works or I'll have one of these soldiers throw you out of the helicopter. <laughs> okay. Guys, I can all do it too. <laughs> In a nuclear plant, we use something called fission. We take an unstable element like uranium-235, which has too many neutrons. A neutron is... Uh, the bullet. If we put enough uranium atoms close together, the bullets from one atom will eventually strike another atom. And the graphite. In our BNK reactors, we surround the fuel rods with graphite to moderate, slow down the neutron flux. I know how a nuclear reactor works. No, I don't need you. <gasps> oh, I thought they were going to throw him out anyway. You know he's still alive two years later. Oh, true. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's leaving and they're coming. Yeah. That's graphite on the roof. The core's exposed. Get us directly over the building. We'll be safe within a week. Dead. Get us over that building. Or I'll have you shot. He likes to threaten people, didn't he? If you fly directly over that core, I promise you by tomorrow morning you'll be begging for that bullet. I'm listening to the guy who just had to explain nuclear reactors yeah. to you, fool. Yeah. There has been an accident at Chernobyl, but I've been assured there is no problem. I'm telling you that there is. I prefer my opinion to yours. I'm a nuclear physicist. Before you were deputy secretary, you worked in a shoe factory. Oh, shit. Is everyone there just an idiot? I mean, so far we've only met two smart people. Maybe three if you include Gorbachev for sending somebody to actually look at it. Stable iodine. We'll keep your thyroid from absorbing radioactive iodine. Get as far from Minsk as you can. I'd be taking one right away, too. Mm-hmm. We have begun our own inquiry into the cause of the accident, and I have a list of individuals who we believe are accountable. So who can we blame? 
Professor Lagarde, if I understand you've been saying dangerous things. Tell me how an RBMK reactor core explodes. I'm not prepared to explain it at this time. I presume there's no answer. It's like this information at a time like this. Why did I see graphite on the roof? Graphite is only found in the core where it's used as a neutron flux moderator. Correct? <laughs> Our high range dosimeter just arrived. I wanted your men get as close to the fire as you can. Give them every bit of protection you have, but understand that even with lead shielding, it may not be enough. Then I'll do it myself. Wow. Finally, someone who leads by example and doesn't just bark up orders. Yeah. Finally, somebody you can respect. And finally, some protection. Is that foil? Looks <laughs> like it. Oh, and they've got the meter in the front. Yes, yeah, so he's going to have to smash his way through going in reverse. That didn't take very much. No, not against that kind of weight of the truck. He's back. 15,000. God! What does that number mean? It means the core is open. It's only twice the radiation released by the bomb in Hiroshima every single hour. 20 hours since the explosion, so 40 bombs worth by now. Please escort Comrade Bukhanov and come in to the local party headquarters. <laughs> You are dealing with something that has never occurred on this planet before. Oh, God. Obviously, we're going to need to evacuate an enormous area. Never mind that. At least evacuate Pripyat at three kilometers away. That's my decision to make. To make it. I've been told not to. Is this or is it not your decision? I'm in shock. I mean, even being that close, you probably are still as good as dead. So, uh, one by one in rotation. They're not going to be able to get it in there. You're probably going to have to try and drop it early and hope that it like, coasts over. That's what he said, most of it's going to mess. Couldn't they put like shielding oh, underneath They're, they're losing signal. Tell them they cannot go over the call. I repeat, the other He's just going to die. They're probably getting roasted by the... Mm -hmm. by, they're going to crash. I see. Holy crap! Is there any other way? Tell them to approach from the west. Yeah. How nice of you to phone. It's been too long. I was actually calling about our friend. I wanted to see how he's doing. It's so hot there right now. But his nephews are flying down. And they always bring cool weather. Oh, which nephews? Simka, who's 14, and little Boris, who's 5. I have to get back to work. It's very busy right now. Goodbye. They're dropping sand and boron on the fire. That was a clever way of getting that message across. Mm-hmm. Where are you going? Chernobyl. Wow. There are 50,000 people in this city. Professor Ilyin, who is also on the commission, says the radiation isn't high enough to evacuate. Ilyin isn't a physicist. Well, he's a medical doctor. If he says it's safe, it's safe. Not if they stay here. We're staying here. And we'll be dead in five years. Is that sinking in now? Yeah. Real enough for you now? The Americans took satellite photos, the reactor building, the smoke, the fire. The whole world knows. The wind has been blowing toward Germany, not letting children play outside. Get the people out of there. People leaving. Oh, shit. A lot of people leaving. Or they're going to pick people up, one or the other. It looks like they're at least evacuating, but is it too late now? Oh my god. Can you imagine how everybody's hearts are pounding right now? With fear? Yeah, what are they being told? That's what I'm wondering. What are they telling the people? To stay calm and get in a bus? But they do they know why? Probably not. Wasn't that the guy to mm, yep. shut the city down? That bastard. Oh, they can't take their dogs? Why didn't they let the people that have... Oh my gosh, the dog is chasing its owner. I'm surprised how quickly they cleared that whole area out. I'm sure they're taking it a building at a time because that was only like 10 buses. Yeah. And where are 
are they going to take them? Yeah. The guards arrested this woman at the south checkpoint. I know that your reactor core is exposed. Smothering the core will put the fire out, but... But I estimate at least a month before it melts through the lower concrete pad. You don't have a month. You have approximately two days. What? But I confirmed it with plant personnel. The tanks are nearly empty. No, they were nearly empty. Fire hoses are still connected. They've been gushing water into the structure this whole time. The tanks are full. Oh, God. <laughs> Do you understand the damage this has done? Do you understand what's at stake? There is some good news. The airdrops are working to douse the fire, but the fire will not be extinguished for at least another two weeks. There is also an additional problem. The uranium will melt the sand. You've made lava. We are now aware that the tanks are, in fact, full. Why is that a problem, Professor? When the lava enters these tanks, it will instantly superheat and vaporize causing a significant thermal explosion. Everything within a 30 kilometer radius will be completely destroyed. Oh, God. The release of radiation will be severe. For Belarusia and the Ukraine, impact means completely uninhabitable for a minimum of 100 years. Jesus. There are more than 50 million people living in Belarusia and Ukraine. 60, yes. Shit. And how long before this happened? Approximately 48 to 72 hours. Holy... We can pump the water from the tank. So we need to find three plant workers, get to the through gate valve here, and give us the access we need to pump out the tank. Of course, we will need your permission. My permission for what? The level of radioactive contamination. They'll likely be dead in a week. Oh my God. All victories inevitably come at a cost. Three, sixty thousand, sixty million. million. Might actually find three people willing to do it. Mm -hmm. The valve will be difficult to operate, so we'll need three men. And of course, any volunteers will be rewarded. My friend was a security guard that night, and uh, she's now dying. And now you want us to swim underneath a burning reactor. <laughs> Why should we do this? For what? 400 rubles? Mm. Yeah. To save sixty million people. You'll do it, because nobody else can. But if you don't, millions will die. I'm an uncle. There's Pilov. Baranov. Jesus. At least they're giving them some kind of safety gear. I mean, their the odds aren't very good, but... They're trying to protect them. Yeah. So they're going to let the water out so it doesn't explode? Yeah, because if the heat gets, if that lava gets to the water, it'll heat it so fast that it'll just expand and explode. Will they even make it there? I don't remember a massive explosion like that happening or the destruction they, they're talking about, so I'm, a, I'm assuming they're going to be successful. Yeah, that's a Geiger counter. That sound is all the radiation it's picking up. Where's the counter? I don't know. I think he put it, it's one of the things they put into his little side pocket thing. I don't think I'd be touching the metal or anything. Yeah. Or at least trying to avoid it. It's getting stronger. Yeah. They seem a little lost. Yeah, there's a counter. It's, uh -huh. it's just pegged out. I don't think that's protective gear. I think it's just scuba gear. Were they not expecting so much water down there? I don't know. Oh my god, they're panicking. Oh no. <sighs> okay, so that was episode two. What did you think? It was interesting. Mm -hmm. um, I felt like there was a sense of panic at the end which makes me really nervous yeah yeah they definitely left it at a cliffhanger mm -hmm. 
I'm glad um, the professor showed up and Mm -hmm. helped out some more. Yeah. I don't, I could be totally wrong, but I feel like most people would probably just run versus stay and help. Probably. Yeah. I would agree with that. Just the amount of radiation. I mean, what they say, 40 Hiroshima bombs? I mean, I don't know what that means, but it sounds well, like a lot. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know exactly what that equates to, but I mean, one bomb dropped on Hiroshima wiped out the, the whole city. So, you know, the radiation is 40 times that and, and rising every every hour. I'm thankful that they're listening now. Yeah, finally they're listening. They got rid of those two idiots who... Uh, you know, everything's impossible. and I'm excited to watch the next one. You're excited or are you scared? <laughs> scared and excited. But I yeah. want to see that they're going to be okay. I don't, The three guys? Yes. I think they're dead. I think those guys are as good as dead. I mean, I'm glad to know that there are people who in that situation would step up, you know, for mm-hmm. that many people you're going to save, but... Yeah, it, it's it, terrifying. I, I don't it how they ended it. It doesn't seem like anything good is going to come out of this. I, I agree. Yeah. I, I'm guessing there's a plan B to go in and do this, and you know they're just going to pick a couple more people. Um, I don't know though. I, I really don't. I don't know how they put this out. I, I don't know. If, you know, and when it really happened, I don't. I don't know anything about it. So I just remember hearing that it happened. So this is all new to me. So. All right. So well, when you say I don't know, you really don't. Oh know. yeah, when I say I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not just telling you that. So, yeah, um, good you mean series. You so don't well. speak their language. I asked what they were saying. And yeah, like, I, I, I never learned Russian, so <laughs> surprisingly. <All right. laughs> but yeah, I'm uh, I'm interested to see where it goes. Um, Can uh, we watch another episode? Yeah, maybe we'll have to. So, all right. Well, if you enjoyed this reaction, uh, give us a thumbs up. Comment down below what what your thoughts on this episode were. Um, do you remember when this happened? What what were your thoughts when it was when it was going on in real life? We were both pretty young, so I mean, I I don't remember it happening. I remember hearing about something called Chernobyl on the news and it was a nuclear accident and that was it. But I I don't remember anything about it. So I know know. nothing about it. Yeah. Share your experiences with it uh, in the comments below and uh, tell us whether you're enjoying watching movies with us or series with us. There you go. I'd like to know. Okay. Yeah. Share it down in the comments below. All right. Well, I guess on that note, we'll uh, we'll see you next week. Take care. Bye bye.